This video today is going to be about how to set up your tools that you need on your truck to go out and do a vending route for beverages, snacks, and um, for coffee vending machines, not for doing office coffee service. All right, first thing you need is something to clean the machines with. Here's what I'm using right here. This, uh, very simple, it has some window cleaner in it, some paper towels. Um, I also bring some WD-40. Uh, this works for all kinds of things. One of the odd things that works for getting the gum off of, the glue off of a snack machine. Um, so that's really helpful. Uh, I also bring some orange cleaner with me and then a bag to carry it all in. The second uh, bag that you're going to need on your truck is your bag of change, nickels, dimes, quarters, dollars. Um, I like to have some sort of nondescript bag to put those in. Once again, I've designed it so I can hook it to my cart for safety. And in that bag, I have separated out in individual bags each of the type of coins. So when this route driver goes out today by himself for the very first time, he'll have a change fund set up for his machines. All right, the third bag of tools we're going to have on this truck is your you know, screwdrivers, those sort of things, things for leveling machines. Um, I keep a number of things in here. I put zip ties in all the tool bags. I find they're useful for um, tying up the different wires and things that are in a machine. If something comes loose, it looks like it's going to get caught from you know the door opening and closing or shelves moving, moving. I can just use a zip tie to take care of that. Um, additionally, of course, I put my my little stickers in for keeping track of the levels of products in my machines. I find those very useful. Um, I also put a headlamp in my bag. You can put a small flashlight. There's magnetic flashlights. There's flashlights on stands. These are kind of geeky, but I find they work great. Um, I use a headlamp for looking where things have fallen in machines, for looking to see if uh, something's jammed. There's all kinds of useful reasons to have this. You drop a, a screw or something important that you needed in the machine, use a headlamp to find it. It's also useful on the truck if you happen to be working early in the morning or late at night and you don't have very good visibility for taking a look at products, for checking expiration dates, all kinds of things. I always, of course, have a notepad. Uh, on my truck with me and I like to bring an extra notepad in my toolkit. In case I need to relabel anything, mark anything, I can bring a permanent marker. Of course I keep extra pins in my toolkit. You have to have a pin for writing things down and uh, it's silly not to carry one. We use uh, branded pins with our company name on them. If a machine should get rocked or need to be moved in some way or become unlevel, I carry a small plastic level. It's magnetic on one side. Very useful. All right, so the vice grips are used for adjusting the um, legs on your vending machines, among other things, but they're really necessary for that. So something that's thin can lock into one position and also um, has a nice long thin handle so you can get it under the machine because some of the legs are pretty far under there uh, is really helpful. Um, additionally, if you have a headlamp, um, if you have any uh, lights on your truck, things that use, anything you have that uses batteries, I carry a bag with spare batteries in it, nice fresh spare batteries. That is also very useful. And then you're going to need, of course, a toolkit with some additional tools in it, uh, screwdrivers, a ratchet, different size screwdriver bits, uh, different size sockets. Uh, we just picked this one up today. I like something that comes in a case, so everything's together, something that's small. Uh, if you don't happen to have uh, something with a case like this, you can use Ziploc bags to keep your tools in or different things. But it's nice to have it in here, so we have that. We also have a pair of needle nose pliers I picked up today. These are useful. Um, and sometimes I like to get longer ones if I can find them. Uh, this is what I could find at the hardware store today. This is a shorter pair because you drop little things in places you can't get them or sometimes there's a small uh, wire connection you have to make. You have to put a connector together. It's nice to be able to grab it and 
just plug it back in. An X-Acto blade, I like to have a folding X-Acto blade, and of course spare blades. Something that's retractable, I like to be safe. Uh, another thing which is not actually in my tool bag but it's nice to have on the truck is a little section of 2x4. This can be used when um, leveling machines. Um, I also put 2x4s behind machines to make sure there's enough clearance behind them for ventilation for your beverage machines, that sort of thing. Um, so to have a spare piece or two of 2x4 stashed away under a seat or in a corner someplace that's really handy. So we have a 2x4. So, so you can see just to go out on the route and service your vending machines, there's a number of tools you're going to need, and you don't want to send your guys out there without what they need to get the job done. The other thing, of course, you need in your tool bag is a tape measure, um, and that's more for things that may happen in the future. Um, the customer says, oh, can you move these machines to this other location? Can you put in an additional piece of equipment? Um, can you guys move these out of this room over to this area until we get the floors redone and move them back in? You're going to need to measure doorways. You need to measure where machines are going to see if there's enough room. It's just very professional to have the tape measure with you to be able to do that sort of thing. See, once everything's back in the bags, you're set, you're ready to go. You have your bag with tools in it for repairing things, which will be on the truck most of the time. You have your bag with change, which you want to keep secure ready to do that and you have your bag for cleaning the machines which I like to just hang off the cart like I do with the change bag just so it's there and it's with me but it's not in the way of my product. Now your driver's ready to go out on the road.